Welcome back to this class. In this video, I'll be teaching you everything that pertains to digital marketing. All right, what is digital marketing? What are the things you need to start digital marketing? How to go about it and what have you? All right, so what is digital marketing? Digital marketing simply means selling to an audience via the digital space, selling whether a digital product or a physical product to an audience, utilizing a digital space like social media, like Google and what have you. Anytime you sell across the internet or across a digital platform, like social media platforms, you are actually doing or carrying out digital marketing. All right. Now your products might be in any form. Okay. It can be physical. It can be digital. All right. There are two types of products here. The first is physical product or services or digital product or services. All right. Now physical products or services include usable items. Um, it can be things like clothing, things like shoes, bags, and what have you. Right. Then it can be trainings and events. Probably you want to hold a class on, um, let's say, graphic designing or Facebook ads. You can hold a physical training for that, all right? Or a physical event or a meetup event, something like that. Then you can market it via the digital space. You can put it on Facebook or put it online for people to, you know, pay for and attend. Then it can also be physical services, right? Probably you are rendering uh, services probably in the health um, sector, or you carry out cleaning services like dry cleaning. Okay, you can put up your, your ads on Facebook or you can put up your flyers or services on Facebook and ask people to, you know, patronize you if they need such services. Okay, so you can actually market anything on, on the digital space, even if you have just physical products or even if you have physical services alone that you offer. Whatever it is, be it hairstyling, whatever it is you do physically, you can actually market it online. Okay, then... The digital products include these. They can be in the form of courses. They can be in the form of ebook or online classes. Okay. I know you've seen some courses, people selling courses on some particular digital um, aspect. Those are courses. Some are in video format. All right. Some are uh, in form of online classes. Okay. Probably a closed WhatsApp group or a closed Facebook group. While your digital product can also be in the form of ebooks. All right. You can just put together um, an ebook on what you know, okay, what you know so well, and sell to people for a thousand naira, two thousand naira, five thousand naira, ten thousand naira, depending on the quality of that ebook. All right. You can also um, put together webinars. I've seen people make money from webinars. They just organize an hour webinar on Facebook and tag it and tag the price at five hundred naira or one thousand naira. And you know, if a thousand persons attend that webinar, you are making. You know how much you're making depending on the price you tag on it. If you're 100 persons attend, same way. All right. Then we have subscription. Okay. If you kind of have monthly subscription um, service whereby people subscribe to your group every month, probably you have a group where you release updates. You know, most persons that do this kind of uh, digital product or service are uh, forex traders. They have um, groups called signal groups where they, you know, give out signals every, every day or every now and then. So people have to subscribe every month or subscribe every month to remain in the group. So that's a good way, you know, of getting into the digital service. We have the number seven here, which is mentorship. Okay. You might have a skill or a money making skill or a money making scheme. You know, you know so well and you want to mentor people on that. You have a laid down, um, pathways or blueprints that you use to get to where you are or to make the money you've made and you want people to actually, you know, benefit from that. You can, you know, organize a mentorship kind of service whereby you mentor, you put people in a group, a mentorship group, and they pay for it, all right? And you you actually train them and put them through the whole process, okay? Then the last tier is online services. Online services like uh, Facebook ads, there are businesses these days that want to, you know, be in front of a larger audience and they do not know how to do that but you know how to run facebook ads you know how to get in new leads you know how to you know get in new customers and close more sales all right so you can offer that service to people and you know anybody that needs the service of a facebook ad runner can actually hit you up and you can charge any amount you want depending on some factors all right now these are digital platforms you can use to sell your product whether physical or digital all right now, they include Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, Upwork, and Twitter. There are more. There are more like Gigi, all right? There are more like Gigi and the rest. But these ones are more or less social media platforms that people have used 
okay, over time to sell products and they are proven to be um, successful. Facebook, you can put up uh, content like written content, video content, same with Instagram, okay, same, same with LinkedIn and same with Twitter. But on TikTok and on YouTube, you only have the option to put or to put out video content. But I think YouTube just recently, you know, rolled out the podcast option. You can also put out podcast content. So with written content, you would want to, you know, make people buy your product or services with written content. You create copies, written copies about your product and find a way to redirect them and convince them towards buying your product. All right. So on these platforms, how, how you do it is that you kind of have a content strategy that at the end of every content you are creating, there is a call to action that redirects them to buy a product of yours. Okay, so every content you are putting out there on this social media platform should have a purpose of you making a sale. All right, so that is how to do it. That is how to use these platforms. So what you need to start digital marketing, there are things you need to start digital marketing and these are the three things you need basically to start digital marketing. And the first is a mobile phone or a laptop. Now, you can use either of them depending on the kind of business you are doing. Not everybody can afford a laptop, but then you can make a whole lot of money with just your phone if you know how to do that. So you need data to actually start up a digital marketing business, right? Then you need a video or an audio gear. Now, I'm using a microphone and I believe you can hear me loud and clear. So you need a good audio gear. You need a good video gear, you know, depending on the kind of content you want to create. Now, there are niches, products or services you know, you can pick from or you can go into. There are a lot of it. These are the ones I just had to pick out, you know, that are kind of lucrative. We have graphic designing. Okay, here you create visuals. So you can create visuals for different kinds of persons, for small businesses, for big businesses, for, you know, different kind of niches, different kind of persons, right? Then the next is video editing. Here you, you, you design videos, you create videos, right? Businesses now need people who are good in video editing. All right, to put together one or two things together to make it more creative, to make it more relating to the audience and more understandable. The next is motion graphics. Motion graphics is a very um, interesting skill where you kind of use um, visuals, you use objects, you know, put them in motion to describe a particular product or to describe a particular service, you know, you know, or to pass a message to an audience. So. Is a good skill that is coming up and a whole lot of persons are moving into that niche, right? Then you have web designing where you create websites for businesses. You have copywriting. Now, this is this copywriting is something every digital marketer needs to have because you can't do it without writing copies. You can't do it without writing content, right? Copywriting is all about putting together words, you know, to pass a message or to sell a product or you know, just to reach out to an audience in a very creative way in form of written words. All right, then you have ebook creation. Okay. If you know how to create ebooks, you can put that process of you creating an ebook in another ebook and sell, or you put it in the form of a course and sell, or you put it put it in the form of a mentorship um, group where you mentor people on how to create ebook and you make money from that. All right. Same goes for course creation. I've explained the Facebook ads here, you you know run you set up facebook ads you run it and you get leads and you get customers and you close sales right you can just offer the service as a facebook ads and expert you can just say oh i want to just offer the services i don't want to teach people on how to you know set up facebook ads but if you think you want to teach also you want to sell your knowledge you can put your knowledge in form of an ebook or in form of a video course or in form of a mentorship um subscription-based group or if more online trainings and all that and you can also make money from there as well so what i'm trying to say is that you can make money from the service and the knowledge you know side by side all right so these are other examples right here you have your ux design you have CPA marketing youtube coding now youtube is understandable because here you make videos about things you like and youtube pays you for you know, putting out a video that they could put their ads on to reach their own audience, all right? So they pay you for making videos and you get a commission now and then for making videos. So they pay you for making videos, all right? Once you hit the 1,000 subscribers mark and the 4,000 hours watch time, you will get monetized. Now, these are other good skills or niches you could go into. The coding, 
the SMMA, which is Social Media Marketing Agency. Yeah, it has to do with influencing. If you have a good social media following, start making money for from people who want to leverage on your audience of 5,000 persons or 10,000 persons, you know, to promote their product. Some who want the product to reach a larger audience might give you that product or pay you for putting your, their product on your WhatsApp status so that your 5,000 audience or 10,000 audience or 2,000 audience can see it. Then we also have Amazon KDP and drop shipping. Now, how to make 100,000 Naira monthly from your SKU? Now, these are the steps I've laid down here for you to follow to make 100,000 Naira every month from your skill. Now, have a sellable knowledge or skill. We've listed out different kind of niches or skills you can pick from. So have one, know how to do it well, be skillful at it, then you can go to number two to create a digital product around that your skill. You can create it in the form of an ebook or in form of a course, video course, or in form of um, a mentorship subscription-based group, all right? Then the next thing you want to do is to run Facebook ads and sell directly. Now, if you have a skill on graphic design, for instance, you can put together your knowledge, all right, in the form of a video course, then put up or set up a Facebook ad, put up the price there, put the link to your seller account on the Facebook ad creatives and all that. Then people can click on it and buy directly from that Facebook ad without even having to contact you directly and you get your money in your Nigeria bank account, all right? Then, or you can use the number four option here, which says run Facebook ads hold free classes and upsell. Now, if you don't want to sell directly on Facebook ads, you can just hold, create a creative or a Facebook ad on a lead magnet that will redirect people to a WhatsApp group where you hold a free class for them. Then you upsell a higher course or, or whatever course or whatever thing you want to upsell to them. Okay. Then that is another way. Then the last but not the least is organically sell on social media. All right, if you don't want to run Facebook ads, if you don't want, you don't have the money to do that, you can just organically sell on social media. People make a real lot of money using this method, all right? But then you have to be consistent. You have to create content almost all the time, every day, if you have the time, you know, now and then just to keep your, con your audience engaged and, you know, keep your product or service in their mind. So that is how to do it, guys. If you follow these steps, I can assure you that you're on your way to make a hundred thousand naira monthly. So guys, that is all for this class. So please, if you learned something, do well to subscribe to this channel, leave a like, share this video, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and see you on the next one.